What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? New mods, guys. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Guess what? We got some really awesome mods today. Let's just get right on into them. First mod we have for today this is the new Holland CR690. 23 slots, 228,000, so not too bad on price, and it can hold 11,500 liters. As you guys can see, we got the regular edition right here. And look at this beautiful thing right there. That is nice. Okay, let's uh, go over here real quick. Let's turn on the help window so you guys can see the controls on it. Okay, here we are inside of it. Uh, inside cameras. Uh, let's see, unfold harvester. So this is what it looks like, unfold it. There it is right there. Let's see, um, disable straw swat. Does it do anything? No, it doesn't. Uh, pipe out. There we go. Uh, let's see. Can't turn on the harvester because no cutter. Let's see, turn on the engine. Of course, the windshield wipers will come on, of course, with seasons. Always the first time it starts up. Uh, looks really nice in here. You can see the back. Uh, let's see if we see anything moving. Beacon around the back and on the sides. Uh, lights. Yeah, it looks really, really good. You can see that thing actually moving right there. Yeah, that this looks pretty good. Looks really good. Okay. Top speed is 24 miles an hour. Let's actually go and see them in the store. Where you can find this, let's go over to Harvesters. Let's go all the way to the end, and there it is right there. 228,000 options on this. You have rim color of any choice you can think of. You have Trailborg, Michelin. You have Crawler Track or Standard. You have engine set up to six CR690, which is 333 horsepower. The uh, CR790, which is an extra 10,500, which is 449 horsepower. Or the CR890, which is 18,500, and it is uh, 517 horsepower. And you can go up even more. You can go up to the CR980, which is an extra 20,500, and it's 531 horsepower. So you can go up to 531 horsepower. Then you have Standard. You have Revolution Edition. As you guys can see, the difference says twin motor on it. And then, of course, the Jaguar, ti well, Tiger, sorry, Tiger, Tiger Edition right there. Pretty, pretty cool. I did not see if this actually came with the header. Let's actually look real quick. No, it did not come with the header, at least on that one or that. So basically, I would just use, you know, a regular and probably, uh, let's see, probably like something like that. Or maybe the uh, Crisanis that just came out not too long ago. Something along those lines right there. Okay, let's turn that off real quick. Okay, the next mod we have to talk about is the Vertisted Carrier 820. Five slots, $51,200, 8.4 working meters. Uh, so pretty good on a cultivator. Well, a cultivator slash disc harrow. Uh, pretty nice. Where you can find this one at? Let's go over here. Let's go under disc harrows and then all the way to the end. So 51,200 on that. There is no options on that. It does require 250 horsepower. Uh, let's actually see 8.4, 8.3 right there. So it is actually cheaper and that's actually smaller than this one is. So yeah, if you were going for one, I'd definitely go for the new one. Okay, last new mod for the day is the Vulture S series, 46 slots. A little bit high on that slot count right there. 279 thousand dollars and it is a large tractor uh, let's actually get inside of it real quick let's get in this one let's actually turn on the help so you guys can see the buttons uh, let's see so l1 or lb on the xbox and the right stick what does that do that opens up the door right there uh, let's see the r1 rb on the on the xbox and the right stick let's see that opens up the back oh that's a nice back window right there and then both of them selected, doesn't show anything really. Nope, okay. So let's uh, look inside here is the inside. Pretty nice, nice, nice. Uh, as you guys can see, let's open that window up. Ooh, they're like, it's like tinted windows, I like it. Okay, let's do this. Oops, wrong button, wrong button. Yeah, really nice tractor right here. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, everything lights up, nice engine sounds right there. Beacons, lights, top speed is 32 miles an hour. Now, this thing's pretty nice, actually. 
Looks like everything works on it. Turn signals in the inside. Turn signals on the outside. So that all works. Yeah, so pretty nice tractor right here. Let's park it real quick. Okay, there we go. Let's turn off the help window. Where you can find these Vultras. Let's go over here. Let's go under tractors, large tractors. And then all the way at the end. There it is right there. 325 horsepower is the base on it. And after you get one, it'll be three slots a piece. You have main color. Uh, let's see, any color you can think of. Rim color the same way. You have Trailborg, Michelin, or Midas. And you have standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, twin wheels, rear twin wheels, uh, and then back to standard. Design, you have standard, or you have warning signs. And then engine setup, you have the S294, which is 325. The 324, which is an extra 13,350. The 374, which is an extra $38,000, which is 400 horsepower. You can go up higher than that, guys. Uh, let's see, the 394, which is 55,500 extra dollars, and it is 435 horsepower. And that is it right there. So I'm going to up to 435 horsepower. Wow, wow, wow. That is a lot. Okay, so that is the new mods for today. Right now, we're going to take a little bit section and we're going to be talking about the updates. We're going to start doing this with every video, too. Okay, the first update we got to talk about today, well, we also got two other new mods. They were Seasons Geo USA Simplified and they were Seasons Geo Dublin. Of course, you know what seasons are, uh, you know what the geos are. Uh, yeah, so there is those. Uh, the Seasons Geo USA Simplified is basically a simplified version of the USA Midwestern Geo. Uh, so crops will be a little bit easier for you. Then we also got two updates for two maps. We got a mini brawn update, which actually included, uh, let's see, uh, they basically pre-built farming now on difficulty levels can be completely sold. Curves and fences on the courtyard can now be sold. Fixed wrong road markings, new balloon textures added, uh, fixed floating objects at the machine dealer, removed sugarcane stains from the farm, uh, only active with new game, otherwise just paint over with landscape. Position of the shop icon moved into the building. Uh, fixed decoration, tree trunks rolls on the street, repainted some of the buildings. Uh, fixed problems with the water at the pond for PS4. Uh, removed all unnecessary cameras from the map, uh, minor cosmetic fixes, uh, seasons they added settings for consoles, uh, seasons fixed missing snow on the rock of the BGA, uh, they added snowmen for seasons, they added uh, snow on roofs, the snow mask was revised, and they fixed seasons masking for some objects. So that is the mini brunt update. Then we also got an update to Mercury Farms, the one by Alien Jim. Uh, let's see, the update included added standard season support. Uh, new game save is required, guys. So now you can play Mercury Farms with seasons. Awesome, awesome map. Okay, then we also got an update to the Bunker Silo set, and that just added support for seasons. Uh, let's see, the Fliegel TPW Bale Trailer set. Uh, what this did was they fixed the problem with loading the big Heston Bales on the TP TPW 100. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, the FB Barn update. Let's see. They updated for seasons and added lights. Uh, let's see. Two geos were also updated. The Season Geo Central Europe, which all that did was they, uh, let's see, all vehicle and tools are now usable with frozen ground. Uh, all spreading fill types, fertilizer, lime are now usable with frozen ground. Raised chance of snowing in winter. Adapted wind speed. Animal food requirements halved. Manure and liquid manure adapted to the smaller amounts of feed. And grass now grows early until winter. Well, grass now grows until early winter. So that was with the Central Europe simplified it. it, simplified it. And then the Upper Bavaria, uh, let's see, the update added uh, weather, sowing, and harvesting times. So they basically tweaked that a little bit on that one. And then that is it, guys. So that is all the updates. That's all the new mods. Let me know which one was you guys' favorite. Uh, we had a lot today. Remember, guys, if you guys haven't already done, make sure you guys put in the comment section below hashtag FS consoles like always guys if you guys did like the video make sure you guys pound that like button if you have not subbed make sure you guys do and like always have an all day farmers peace